Hi, my name is Sarah Butler and I'm an intern at Western Nebraska Behavioral Health. The stress and realities we are all facing during this unprecedented time of COVID-19 make caring for ourselves even more important. During this time, our physical and mental health need to be a priority. This can be a real struggle to do during these uncertain times when life is really just not normal. When I was a stay-at-home mom with three small children who are close in age, I quickly learned that self-care was something that was necessary to my mental health and well-being. I was a better partner, I am a better partner, to my husband and a better mother for my children when I take care of myself first. I often think of the flight attendant on a plane instructing us to put on our own oxygen mask first before assisting those around us. This is especially true when one is in a caregiving role. A friend of mine, a mother of six children, once said to me, I am the eye of the tornado. If I'm not okay, everything and everyone else rotating around me will fall apart. I took that to heart as a young mother and prioritized my own self-care. There have been times in my life when I put it lower on my list of priorities or even let it slip completely and everything seemed harder to me. I suffered and my family suffered if my own needs were not met. As a parent, it can be a struggle to put your own needs ahead of your children's needs because let's be real, they are much more vocal and effectively so in prioritizing and voicing their needs to be a better provider of the care they need to thrive and to be happy. We must take care of ourselves first. The better we feel physically, emotionally, mentally, spiritually, the more equipped we will be as parents and caregivers to face the day-to-day -day demands and stressors that can accompany parenting. Self-care is not selfish. It is a necessity to physical and mental health. An important aspect to engaging in self-care is to find a time that works for you and your family. This can be extra tricky during this time when children are not in school every day and you may all be together at home for 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Everyone does it differently. Plan ahead with your partner or your co-parent and even with your children as much as they can understand. If you're an early riser, you can wake up before everyone else in your household to engage in some self-care before the day begins. If your children are young and still have nap times, your self-care can happen then. Quiet time for older children is a great way to ensure that you can fit in some daily self-care. If evening is better for you, if you're a night owl, when everyone is settled and in bed, spend a little time on yourself before calling it a night. Having a plan is important to engaging in self-care. The pull of the needs of those around you, those you care for, can sometimes feel overwhelming. It's hard to ignore. If we try to decide in the moment what we're gonna do for self-care, we may end up washing the dishes or folding the laundry or scrubbing the bathrooms, all the while trying to convince ourselves that we're taking care of ourselves. <laughs> With no plan to prioritize yourself, it is really easy to give in to all the other demands pulling at you in life. Self-care can be as simple as you want it to be and need it to be. It can be taking a bath, meditating, listening to music, getting dressed for the day, exercising, reading a book, practicing a hobby, learning a new hobby, watching a show, going for a drive, talking with a friend, calling a loved one, going for a walk, or fixing yourself a meal that you want to eat and not eating your kids leftover mac and cheese. As long as it is tailored to fuel you, uplift you, and satisfy your own personal needs, it is self-care and it's necessary. Make an effort to stick to your prioritized time to engage in self-care. If you respect that time that you have set aside, your family may begin to respect it as well. Self-care has been a very important part of my life. It has been something that I have looked forward to each day, counted on, and even survived on in times of stress, uncertainty, heartbreak, anger, chaos, and even grief. Those in a caregiving role are sometimes prone 
to the tendency to sideline their own needs and prioritize the needs of those they care for. Try to think of self-care as caring for those you love. Make yourself a priority and you are not only benefiting yourself, but those you love and care for as well.